everybody, we are here at MasterChef Global Kitchen with another episode of Healthy Cooking with Salad Master. So today we got a special guest joining us to show you how you can cook another traditional dish in a healthier way. I'm not gonna tell you who it is, I'm just gonna invite uh, him to come and introduce himself again. Thank you for coming. Hey, thank you. So guys, I'm back again with a popular demand uh, to cook another very nutritional uh, dish in this amazing equipment and salad master where you're gonna capture all the nutrients in it. What we are cooking today, we are cooking a very, very traditional uh, soup. It's called shorba. We're gonna mix it up with uh, red peppers and tomatoes. Shorba, you know, it's very much po popular in uh, Middle Eastern as shorba. Uh, you know, the meaning means a soup or a stew. It can be made with the uh, meats, it can be made with the vegetables. So what we are gonna cook today is uh, with uh, tomatoes and red peppers. And uh, we're gonna add a few spices in it uh, just to enhance the flavor of the shorba. And I can bet you this is one of the things that you really wanna enjoy in, in wintry nights when it's raining, you're feeling cold. Just have a cup of uh, this uh, shorba and you know, you will feel better from inside and uh, your body energy level will grow. Wow, sounds amazing. So let's swap, Chef. Yeah, I need to come on the side. We'll start the very, very quickly, we're gonna switch on uh, uh, the pan, uh, salad master pan. We're gonna keep this on the side. Just be careful, it's uh, a little bit hot. Today, we're gonna use one of our smallest pieces uh, in here. And uh, one of the reasons, you know, salad master is a unique product. The reason for it is because it's made of three different layers. So Salad Master is not just only made from one layer, yeah. it's made of three different layers. So we got the inner layer, middle layer and outer layer. Each layer gives you different benefits and we're going to explain to them more in details. Yeah. Uh, if they would like to know more about it, you can book one of our healthy cooking show and we get one of our expert chefs come and cook for you and your family. Uh, at no cost. So, so let's yeah, go. let's uh, quickly. Uh, I'm using pure olive oil for this. Uh, to, it's you know the olive oil is really healthy in cooking. Just a little bit of olive oil. Let it get heat up. What we got over here? Few spices: uh, cloves, coriander seeds, uh, black pepper, and bay leaf. Once the uh, oil is a little bit hot, mm -hmm. uh, we need to quickly work on the spices because this can burn very quickly. Just two to three cloves, maybe 10 coriander seeds. You can go a bit more on coriander seeds because that gives the heat to the dish. A uh, couple of bay leaves mm -hmm. and uh, you just need to be very careful the pan is not uh, really hot. Next thing what we have got over here, amazing tomatoes, red peppers, coriander, uh, green chili, cherry tomatoes, which I'm gonna just use it up for uh, garnish. So let's uh, quickly go into this. Uh, so in goes the seeds. You can hear the sound. It's crackling. Then I'm gonna add uh, onions in it very quickly. Yeah, onion go gone in. Just need to saute it a little bit, not too much. Then we got some uh, ginger. We're just gonna roughly chop all the ingredients and put in the pan. So just saute the onions, then we go, the ginger is gone uh, in it. So, so ginger gone in, maybe one small green chili. I'm just gonna break it up, put it in it. Quickly what we're gonna do is, as uh, the onions and ginger and green chili, they are just cooking, I'm just gonna roughly cut uh, the tomatoes. You don't have to chop the tomatoes, you just have to roughly cut the tomatoes uh, and put it in the pan. It's a very quick uh, soup to make. When you are uh, sitting at home, uh, you just want to make something really quick. So this uh, tomato and red pepper shorba, you guys are going to have a treat while sitting at home. Make it more exciting. Turn up the, turn up the heat a little bit. cover it up so all the nutrients and uh, all the healthy benefits you know all the minerals and everything is intact in intact okay 
brilliant and the reason we are just uh, chop them down roughly because we're gonna use the blender later on and blender blend on. it perfect quickly perfect. what we're gonna add just a just a small pinch of black pepper yeah we're just gonna add some chili powder and uh, a touch of salt yeah so keep the uh, heat uh, on a on a high flame let the tomatoes and peppers cook what we're gonna add is uh, another key ingredients is the coriander always try to use the roots of the coriander for longer cooking and try to use uh, the leaves just for the final bit of the cooking because coriander has got a lot of lot of flavor especially the stems make sure it's washed a little bit not too much so the coriander is in we're just gonna stir it up quickly so the flavor of the stem uh, it's really strong it's really fragrant it's really flavorsome a lot of people they just uh, take the stems and they just uh, chuck it in the bin okay. we are not gonna do that we're gonna use each Perfect. and everything of it Perfect. so yeah. as you can see the onion the tomatoes and the peppers they're cooking nicely what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna add uh, the water okay if you can pass oh yeah for the water over here so just uh, water just to co cover up the the shorba the soup in it so it's nicely covered and what we're gonna do is that after this, we added the water in it we're just gonna cover it up just leave it on a high heat and we're just gonna wait this this wall is gonna start opening up are you gonna tell me the reason why is it yeah so we're gonna hear that uh, we have a little vapor valve in here which when you are reaching the temperature of 86 degrees centigrade uh, it will start clicking that's when we know we need to turn the heat a little bit down and after five to ten minutes our food is ready so when we're cooking our vegetables it's very important to retain all the vitamins and minerals yeah. inside our food which is that's what the nutrition you know your body need to help you to boost your immune system yeah. so uh, our vegetable has a lot of vitamins and minerals if we cook our vegetables in a very high heat or with, uh, with boiling or steam them you lose most of beneficial properties from your yeah. food and vegetables so when you cook in salad master is actually when you hear that click 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 it let you know you reach the right temperature so you turn it down so you retain all the vitamins that, and minerals yeah intact. that's right and that stage is called a vapor stage here where it's not uh, steaming it's a vapor stage which is around 83 to 86 degrees celsius okay now chef we can see we have the vapor valve is clicking it's calling you it says come to kitchen tell me down so down. what we're gonna do we're gonna bring it down when yeah. as soon as you hear and then after uh, one minute it's gonna stop and it's constantly cooking in the right temperature so you can retain all the vitamins and minerals intact inside your food to look after yourself and your family so chef, so next uh, thing what we're gonna do we got this beautiful cherry tomatoes uh, we got red we got a uh, few greens what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna blow torch them up and uh, we're gonna start doing the garnish uh, start getting ready with the garnish as uh, our soup or we call it shorba is getting ready so quick uh, thing what we're gonna do we're just gonna make a few fancy garnish what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna cut some uh, cherry tomatoes in uh, half just gonna take uh, the, the bottom bit off just to make it more stable so it doesn't fall when we're gonna put it on the on the plate so different color one uh, make it uh, the dish looks really lively and vibrant cooking the shoba cooking uh, it's it's a lot of different uh, people use a uh, different cut of wheat in order to cook the shoba you tend to use a more tougher cuts of wheat because it gives more stock more body to the soup and it gives a more a lot of flavors so quickly what we're going to do is that let me get this uh, the trimmings out of the way. Uh, I've got this cherry tomatoes. The soup is almost gonna be ready in a couple of minutes. Uh, we are quickly gonna blow torch the cherry tomatoes on the top just to give a charred effect and to just to give it a different kind of a feel altogether.
Okay, so this garnish is uh, ready to go. What we're gonna do now is uh, look at the soup and uh, we're gonna blitz the uh, soup in the blender. We're just gonna turn off the heat. Wow, look at that. Look, chef. look at wow. the flavor, look at the aroma it's and, coming and through. If, if we see in here, the color, the vibrant, the, the color you get normally when you cook in a normal pan, yeah. it gets really, really dark. Yeah. But in here, you can see a nice natural color, color of the vegetables. Of the vegetables are. So very carefully, just take the pan off the heat. What we're gonna do now is uh, put this in a blender. Just be really careful when we are putting this thing in the blender. It's really hot. Uh, so we're gonna pour this one in the blender. So what we're gonna do is uh, Make a nice uh, perfect. So, so the soup is now blended. The tomatoes are being blow torched. Uh, what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna nicely place the tomatoes uh, around the plate to look it look really nice. Uh, really uh, different colors. The vibrancy of the colors are there. We're just gonna pick up a few herbs. Yeah. Uh, just a few sprigs of uh, coriander uh, will go really nicely on the on the plate. So that's our plating done over here. What we're going to do is get the soup, make sure your uh, blender is off, it's not uh, on. We're going to take the blender out, just take it off, just pour the soup in, uh, in a jar. The shoba is ready, we've got a nice plate ready over here, you can see the different colours of tomatoes, it's called heritage tomatoes, uh, different yellow, green, red colour very vibrant color. Uh, we're just gonna pour the soup on it. You can have it uh, a different ways of serving. This is a bit more quirky and restaurant style, which I'm trying to tell you. Uh, we're just gonna pour it up on the plate. Just pour it up in the center. I'm just gonna adjust the plate a little bit. And yeah, that's our tomato and red pepper shoba is ready to go wow chef uh, it's amazing it was simple easy and it looks amazing and i'm sure it tastes even more amazing yeah it's 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 very simple rustic kind of a, a soup that we have made very quick to make you know when you have kids on holiday they will they will love this kind of soup uh, a rustic soup and uh, let's dig in Let's yeah. taste. Let's let's have a little taste. I think we should one. go for it first. Wow. Okay. I love these charcoal, charcoal tomatoes and wow. It's packed with flavor, healthy dish, mm. which you can use it even in winter, in the summer, any time of the year. So, thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you thank so you. much, everyone who's watching this video. I'm sure you love to get some more recipe from our amazing Arbinda chef. Is. Chef, so uh, Arbinda is gonna do another dish for us, but but this time you need to choose the dish. So you need to send us the recipe and the dish you want, and then we're going to ask our chef to do it for you. Uh, and maybe we're gonna do live, chef, next oh, time. Oh yeah, so, I think I think. Uh, we should we should do a live uh, cooking session with the, all the people who love us so much mm -hmm. and it will be a good to interact with people you know do some question answer session so hopefully to see you guys again very soon so thank you so much chef it's My been pleasure. a pleasure to have you uh, in our 
MasterChef Global Kitchen. Uh, for you watching these videos, uh, you, we're going to do a draw, uh, which one of you gonna be qualified to get one of our amazing gift. All you need to do, leave a comment in the bottom of the video and leave your details with us. Uh, you're gonna see our details, Facebook channel, and also our Instagram and YouTube, obviously, you have it. Uh, get in touch if you would like to get a, one of our private chef to come and show you and your family a healthy cooking at no cost, we are here for you. So, looking forward to see you in next episode with our healthy cooking. Thank you, chef, again. Thank you. Thank and you so much. God bless you all.